Why, hello everyone! Welcome to Playframe, and welcome to a very special thing. This is going to be a good old time, everyone. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. And I need to keep on saying words, because we're not going to hit a title screen for a few seconds. So just, like, bask in this glorious 16-bit color and vibe. It's Metroid 3, sort of, kind of, like halfway. Man, what a good title screen, though. Yes, indeed. Welcome, everyone, to Super Metroid and The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. It's a crossover randomizer, a randomizer which features both games. It's going to be very good. I'm excited about it. <laughs> uh, so I'll explain how it works as we go, because I I think I know how it works. I've not. This is an entirely fresh seed. I have not played this. I don't know where anything is. It's going to be a good time. We're going to try to beat two games in one playthrough. This is efficiency, everyone. Let's go. Begin game. So the way this randomizer works is um, like you've got, you know how randomizers work with uh, like just say Super Metroid. A Super Metroid item randomizer would take all of the items in the game and shuffle their placement around to new locations, right? So uh, I would go down to where I would expect the morph ball to be, which is where I'm going right now. Uh, because that would be the first item I'd need to go do things. Although it might not be a morph ball. Might be something else is over there. Might be some other Metroid item. Maybe there's like, I don't know, plasma beam or some other nonsense. And then I need to figure out how to navigate around the world with just that item to get to more things. Same sort of th idea with uh, the Legend of Zelda randomizers. Just all of the items, everything you'd find in chests and get from bosses shuffled to new locations. With this combination, though, what's very fun about it is that this mod contains both games simultaneously and all of the items are scattered across both games so i going down here to where the morph ball in theory should be as samus might in fact find i don't know like 10 arrows <laughs> for uh for link so i need to be searching both worlds to find all of the this is a real fast way down by the way uh to find all of the items and beat both bosses. You have to beat both end bosses from both games to complete it. I have not done this before. I've not even completed a randomizer of a <laughs> of either one of them independently. So arguably this is a bad idea. But don't y'all worry your little heads. We're gonna figure it out. So alright, we're headed down to the first item. The first item you can get. And Boy, it, like, it would be the absolute best if this was a morph ball, if I just, <laughs> if I go just a little further to the left, I guarantee you it's not going to be. It's going to be something super useless. And, oh, okay, a fire rod, I think, is what that is. <laughs> yeah, that's a fire rod. That's, um, that's not going to help me get places. <laughs> Fortunately, usually you need to use the morph ball to get out of here. Fortunately, you can use kind of the, uh, yep. You can use the jumps I'm not super good at. Hang on. Wall jumps will work. One sec. Daggummit. There we go. Okay, there we're out. We're fine. Now, there's also technically another item over here, uh, if you're good, and I'm not. I'm going to show you where it is, though. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. So now, see, if I was good at Super Metroid, and I'm not especially, I've, I've beaten it a couple times, but I am in no way, like, speedrun strats over here. Uh, there's an item right up there! Can't reach it. <laughs> it's a piece of heart. <laughs> there's something that's really amusing to me about that. Uh, but yeah, so if I was, like, really good, I could use an enemy to, like, knock me up into that or something. I'm not good at the game. So instead, I'm just going to give up and go to Zelda World, <laughs> where there's a bunch of chests that are a little easier to get. Cats, please stop fighting. For the love of heck, you've known each other for 15 years. At this point, none of you are going to change. Just, like adjust to each other's presence. Become friends. Cats? Anyway, let's go to the Zelda world. So the way these worlds connect, I can't just arbitrarily swap between uh, Super Metroid and Link to the Past at will. In order to uh, go between worlds, there are... There are four different places in each game where you can swap, uh, swap which game you're in. Uh, there is a map room or a save room, I forget which, up here uh, in... Criteria, I think it is. That as soon as I walk in, it's going to transfer me over to A Link to the Past, to a location in there. I, 
uh, somewhere in the southeast of the world map. I'm <laughs> I'm way less familiar with Link to the Past than I am Super Metroid, which again might be a problem. How hard could it be though? I got a fire rod, and I know where one piece of heart is, so like that'll get me through half the game. I have played separate uh, <laughs> words. I have played Super Metroid way more recently, which is why I'm able to navigate with any degree of skill right now. Stop. Get. Stop. Stop. Quit. Okay. We're almost out of here. Okay. It's gonna be fun. I don't know how well I'm going to do, but I guess if I do poorly, it'll just take a while. Okay, now we're swapping. And... Hey, it's a link to the past. And at this point, Dan, do you want to just take over? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll just I'll take this out part. Oh, thank goodness. See, I'm like not good at this game. By the way, this is Dan Jones, everyone. He's going to be hey, playing. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> we done did it. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to this co-op playthrough of the Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer crossover thing. Dan doesn't have a sword. <laughs> I don't have a sword, and I have one heart. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be doing this co-op. I, Dan Floyd. Hi, I don't know if I introduced myself at hey! the beginning. I forget. You need hey! some missiles? Missiles. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I got um, some missiles for you. Look at you getting me a gift. Uh, mm. I am going to be playing Samus. Dan is going to be playing Link, and together we are going to beat these two games at the same time, but the items are all random. You did, you did a very good job uh, covering for me there. <laughs> thank you, thank there you, thank a, you. I wanted to giggle a few times. I had to suppress <laughs> myself. All right, all right, come on. Well, that's going to be a problem, huh? <laughs> come on, come, come on. Come on, come on out. Come on. Ow. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, I walked into it. <laughs> it's really hard. It's okay, hard. because I can, I can do this and just go get a different item. <laughs> True. Oh, that's right. Okay, you get to choose which uh, which uh, place you spawn in. Oh, there's a chest Excuse right there. Excuse me, Zelda. Hey, more, more missiles. missiles. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a fire rod with no magic, and I have ten missiles. Oh yeah, I do have fire rod. That's right. Need to need to find some magic. That'll having a weapon at least will yeah. do something for you. Yeah, we 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 decided. Uh, it would be really smart of us to randomize both the morph ball and the sword. So it is the hardest version of both randos. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a real challenge. So uh, just okay. to, while, while Dan's running around uh, trying to figure out how many chests he can get to, which is actually a lot. You can get to a lot of chests yeah, early there's, on. Yeah, there's a lot of early stuff. I can go buy bombs and stuff too once I have enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, so like, uh, Kakariko alone has, like... Eight or <laughs> it seems like eight chests just yeah. lying around somewhere. So that'll that'll help a lot, hopefully. Um, the real big early challenge for us both here is getting a sword for Link and morph ball for Samus. And sword for Link should at least be a little easier because there's like four versions of that, right? Yeah. So like odds are a little better at least of finding a sword for Link. At least I've got a basic weapon I can work with. That uh, that's a real advantage for Samus. However. Until I can get a morph ball, I can barely get anywhere as Samus. Like, they really expect, the beginning of Super Metroid expect you to get the morph ball and then use that to get into all the other places <laughs> where there are other upgrades. Yeah. Fortunately, having... Oh, that just works. Fortunately, having uh, some missiles, which Dan has gotten for me here, will help me get into a few more rooms that I couldn't before, I think. But, uh... Yeah, I think you can at least... Um access like one or two of those doors that you were walking by. Yeah, so that's that's going to help for sure. That'll give us more options. But this is kind of how it's going to be going. We're going to be trading back and forth, trying to get items for our... Oh, hey. thanks. Well, good. <laughs> I just robbed my dead uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is what he would have wanted. Yeah. Oh, man, this is scary. <laughs> There's a chest over to the, there to the right. Okay, oh, yeah, you good. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, bombs. Okay. That'll help. This helps... Oh, and, and magic. magic. <gasps> yes. Nice, nice hit. So I've played, uh, just in preparation to see how this kind of works, I've played not only a bit of Super Metroid and A Link to the Past independently, but just the vanilla version of the game. I also played a little bit of a randomizer of a different seed just to see how this sort of stuff works. <laughs> Pots are a godsend for the er for Link in the early, <laughs> in the early game because they're such a strong weapon when you don't have one. It's really hard being on, <laughs> on the Zelda side early on without a sword. Okay. I'll just go to Kakariko. All right, we we can we can do. There's like a, a quick three chests in uh, 
the, the, the escape sequence there. Yeah, but I think yeah, at yeah. this point, and it'll probably be easier just to go for uh, Kakariko. Yeah. Whether you're finding stuff for me or you, it is helpful. It's going to be good. This is exciting. So usually you're the one doing randomizers on this channel. And uh, this is my first time. I guess I've dabbled a little bit in Hollow Knight randomizer stuff, and I will do again. This is like doing this as a co-op thing. I'm. We've been giddy about this all week ever since yeah. we came up with the idea. <laughs> yeah, we... Once we got this working, this is all I've been thinking about. Like, <laughs> work was so hard this week. I was just like, is it Zelda? Is it Zelda? In Metroid time yet? Oh, I've been I've been thinking about it at least once a day and getting all hyped up. This is going to be a blast. All right, let's see what we got in our library. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, More missiles! Okay, that could be... That's, <laughs> that's okay, because, like, you can't even get those right now. If, honestly, if that had been the morph ball, I'd have been sad. <laughs> <laughs> if that was the morph ball, it would be, I'd be playing for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> now, granted, I think if you went through, if you could manage to get to one of the other uh, game swap doors, that would probably drop me in a different part of the map. And from there, maybe I could reach some other things. Uh, yeah, that's true. So I think it's all the, like, the fortune teller's houses is, is the... Um... I think so. Let um, me look it up because it's written down. Um, anyway, by the way, any of you who want to... Oh, yes. All this is a... This, oh, this room has like five chests in here. Um, okay, I always forget how to do this exactly. The nice thing is you can just like walk out and reset if you gotta, but... Hey! Look at you! Got nice! Ooh, that's gonna help a lot. Yo! Hey! I got a sword! This is a I got a sword, Dan! Hey, sword. look at me go! Is that the heart. master sword too, or is that the the basic hero sword? It's just sword? the first. It's a progressive, so oh, I think. Oh, I like that. Level two will be the master sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it's fire sword, then butter sword. I love that. I I love that. Uh, the mod has the logic built in that just whatever first sword you find, it finds is the first sword, and then it just keeps on going. That's great. Yeah, it might be the same way with um your suit. Hmm. I'm not 100% on that, but it's also like um, the same for mitts. So you get the Titans and, or actually, wait, what's the, what is the first one? You get level one gloves and then the, the second level gloves. That's so cool. Whatever they're called. <laughs> I'm so glad you just found a sword, man. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> that makes a big difference. <laughs> uh, oh, this is going to be so good. Those of you who are interested in this and want to uh, try out this combo randomizer for yourself, uh, go to the URL, samus.link. Hey. Whoa, what was that? Was that super missiles? Nice. Super missiles. More Two super, super missiles. missiles. More missiles. Did you want missiles, Dan? I'm... Did you need more missiles? Boy, thank you for the missiles. I appreciate that greatly. <laughs> yeah, we're both kind of like, uh, like obviously still need morph ball and morph ball bombs, but like those will be the two real game changers on my side. Whoa. Nice. My boy. Bow. This is a good seed. <laughs> I got the bow. <laughs> this went way better than my practice seed I did. Oh my gosh, I, I started a practice seed of just uh, Link to the Past, just to uh, yeah. kind of refresh myself. And the luck I got was bonkers. I was like, I'm not even going to run this because we have like everything we need. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm just playing a Link to the Past. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just I'm playing Link to the Past. That, that was it. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh no, this is great luck starting off. I'm very happy because this mm -hmm. could have gone very south. <laughs> Got some arrows Ten and stuff. Ten whole arrows. Yeah. Wow. All right, I'll go. I'll go buy this uh, totally bottle from the <laughs> seller here. Oh, that's right. You need what is it? hundred rupees for this? Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey, and you got Thanks some change. For the bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there is a, a very nice large grotto. Ooh. Actually, there is. Uh, I never remember which house it is. One of these houses has a bomb. Ooh. Nope. That's the sick boy. I'm glad we're doing this co-op because I, you are way better and more familiar with A Link to the Past than I am. <laughs> Practice has demonstrated to me that I am not good at A Link to the Past. Yeah, Ooh, I didn't even know about this one. Even watching like, oh, yes, very nice. That's a treat. Thank you. Man, well, you're getting like all your ammo types. I really am. Yeah. Really helping me out here. I think, I think maybe your beams might be progressive as well. Ooh, that, that'd be cool. Actually, I don't know. They might not be, because I think they all 
do such different things. So. Yeah, they do have different functionality and they combine in different ways, which is mm -hmm. neat. Uh, shoot. <laughs> I think I think bombs might cost 50. Mm. Or 10. 50 or 10. Dang it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I need to, in between our recording sessions, just continue doing a randomizer of just Super Metroid on my end, just so I'm just to force me to start memorizing where item locations are everywhere. Because that's going to make a big difference, I feel like. I know the very beginning of the of Super Metroid. I know where all the items are pretty well, but I, I'm going to run out of that knowledge very fast. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, the guards are... They're mad at me. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all want to try this out for yourself, and you should, it's really cool. Uh, Samus.link is the URL for uh, this uh, randomizer. It's got a full guide of stuff. Uh, tells you kind of like how to get it all set up, and it's it's great. Uh, it's very good. And it's a very good URL as well. Oh, that's right. I was going to yeah. look up where the uh, world swaps are. Hang on. Any rupees. Okay. I, I'll just kill some stuff, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that works, too. Famous dot link. It is starting. <laughs> okay, the uh, the four cross game portals in this mod are uh, the uh, Criteria map room to the Lake Hylia fortune teller, which is the one that y'all saw. Um, in Norfair, the map room will take you to. Uh, the back of the old man cave, which is, I think, up on Death Mountain, uh, in the Light World. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, so if, so if you can get up to the, like, that guy's cave on Death Mountain, which I think you've got the items to do, actually, because you got the mitts, uh, yeah. You don't have the lantern, though. That's gonna cause problems. <laughs> lantern is rough. Hey, I got, I got enough for bumps. Oh, good. Okay, good. Because, yeah, if you don't if you don't have the lantern in uh, Link to the Past, and I didn't know this because I just played the vanilla version, um, if you walk into a place that's dark, it's just going to be pitch black and you can't see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, which is a problem. It's real fun. Uh, so there's a <clears throat> there's a two caves, or there's a few caves in this game, that are just like so many early easy checks. Um, <laughs> and this one I'm going to, I do need a bomb to bust it open. And I... Uh, you go through bombs pretty quick, especially when you need to get these early checks because everything's locked by bombs. Yep. <laughs> oh, the last two are uh, between the missile refill room in Meridia. We'll take you to the Dark World's uh, Ice Rod right. What earth does that mean? Um. So the Ice Rod room has like a fairy fountain right next to it. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. All right. And uh, the... Golden Torizo Energy Refill Room, which I don't even remember where it is, will take you to Misery Mire's, uh, a shed in Misery Mire, which is also the Dark World, I think. Uh, so there's two Light World ports and two Dark World ports for Link to the Past. Yeah. The sad thing is, um, now that I have most of the the, the kind of base stuff I really want, mm -hmm. um, I am now pretty much uh, the forever hunt for the Moon Pearl. <laughs> and then and then when I get the moon pearl, we're in pretty good shape for like finding or at least having access to most checks in the game. That's pr which is pretty excellent. Like, yeah, I was about to ask, like, what are your real big key items that you're that are the big game changers? Yeah, um, that's that's definitely number. I, I, I'm so not used to these controls right now. <laughs> um, moon pearl is definitely our number one most important thing right now. Um, but anything like. Better sword, hook shot, um, mm. the canes. Oh yeah, those will all like give us checks, but just not as many as um, others. Or the mirror is also a really good one too. Oh yeah, 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 that would be a big one. By the way, for those of you who are not familiar with the games, I guess I should explain. Uh, the moon pearl in the Link to the Past will allow Link to actually retain his human form in in the Dark World. Uh, because otherwise you just turn into a rabbit and you can't do anything except die. Yep. <laughs> you can't do anything except get hit and feel bad. Yep. So you really want to have the moon pearl in order to actually operate in the dark world. Uh, man, these things. How am I ever going to get over there? <laughs> Wait a minute. You can just do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's really funny. Uh, <laughs> but some of you may have noticed some other nice features of this mod. Like, this mod has a lot of uh, variables you can tweak, uh, both for, like, the difficulty of the randomizer, but also some nice, cool things. Like, you can make it so that the low health beep on Link uh, only fires at, like, half speed. So you're So it's not constantly beep, 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 beep. It's just a little more occasional. Beep, beep, mm -hmm. which is... So much more tolerable. Still annoying, but tolerable. Yeah, you can also change um, the sprites to be like a whole number, especially a lot for a Link to the Past. There's so many custom <laughs> sprites put in there. There's a bunch of them, yeah. A lot of fun variety. Highly recommend checking it out. Uh, trying to think of what items are the big game changers for me. Like, just about every kind of item is a key to some sort of door. But, uh... Morph Ball is, like, the absolute biggest one, and because so much just relies on it, and nice, and uh, Morph Ball Bombs will be another big huge one, because then I'm not having to use Power Bombs just to clear very basic obstacles. Uh, speed Boost yeah. will help a bunch. I guess everything helps a bunch. Whoa, this right, room. Here we go. Yes. E-Tank. E-Tank. More, More missiles. E-Tank. Another E-Tank. <laughs> Boy. Christmas came early hey. this year. <laughs> and more missiles. This is good. So, like, I feel like there's more important items. There's more ver a greater variety of important items for Link. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there's, like, fewer kinds for Samus, but, uh, I don't know. Having a bunch of them helps. I need to have a bunch of them to get past yeah. a bunch of the bosses, because those bosses get hard if you don't have enough eat. If you don't have enough health or enough uh, missiles to throw at the things, those boss fights are going to get real hard, and I'm not good enough to... <laughs> brute force through a lot of them, you're, so... You're fine. You you did a, a wall jump in the first few seconds of the game. It's... That's true. Yeah, it took, like, what, five tries? Yeah. Easy. Easy. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> oh, Link to the Past. <laughs> Man, you you really are just so squishy at the start. It's really true. Um, so okay, few let's, hearts. let's go get those escape items real quick, because those, those might be something like a morph ball, because usually... Typically when I've done <laughs> Typically when I've done uh randos like this, um they try to lock especially like sword and morph ball where it's like those are the two things you need. Um they they tend to lock those behind um some of the first early checks because you have access to them without anything, you know. Mm. So the 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 percentage chance of them being there is so high. Granted they they might not be there, but it's just the item pool there is like, it could be anything, and it's not, like, everything's in logic because you can get there with nothing. Um, so yeah, and, and also if you, I've, I've said this a few times on other randos and stuff, but um, in logic means like, um, oh yeah, I don't have lantern, so I can't do escape <laughs> right now. It's great, right? <laughs> and it's fun because I accidentally hit left a little bit. <laughs> Guess you'll die. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is already good. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, let's. See. There we go. I wasn't sure actually if that would do a um, a hard or soft reset. Yeah, I wondered. Hey, right, there you go. Oh, okay. You cool. know what? You've got some missiles. You can maybe maybe you, you there, morph balls on your side. Yeah, it might there's work. There's still actually. tons of stuff I have to check, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger. Okay, so there's some stuff I could force through on this side, but I'll let's keep it a little bit easier. Criteria is a bit more uh, <laughs> a bit less nasty. Let's mm -hmm. See what I can find over here. Do, 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 do. Give you a little breather. <laughs> not having not having morph ball my, is is gonna be rough, but yep, yep, it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere, and there are some items I can certainly get get to. Uh, so yeah. Eh. Yeah, one thing that's really fun about uh this rando is the game kind of becomes like I can't even use a stupid power ball oh, because I can't even drop ball. okay yeah okay it might be coming back to me real quick here it really might be yeah I think you do have one missile door um I think you're right 
Uh, can't morph ball into that. Uh, this is the switcher. To, uh, uh, that's a morph ball to the left. So. I think. I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to morph yeah. ball in here, but uh, just to make sure. Okay. Yep. No. Yep. Uh, I might be able to like. No, I can blow down a wall over here. Okay. Except no, I can't because I don't have. Don't have that morph ball. <laughs> so. <laughs> Really limited yeah. here. <laughs> we, might, we might come back to me until we can find more ball. I th yeah, you know what? Let's do that rather than <laughs> save the time and trip. Because uh, <laughs> if you find morph ball, that's going to change everything. Uh, yeah. Let's. Ah, crap. Yeah, there's still there's still quite a few caves I have of of plentiful checks. Uh, but uh, gotta remember, I don't have lantern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch morph ball be buried in like deep in a chest in like. Dungeon 9 or some nonsense. Hey, you know, that would be amazing because that would mean all of the checks I need are in Link to the Past. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like, what? Um, how many how many items are there in Metroid? Is it is it like 75 or something like that? Or You know, I don't remember. Like, there's, there's so many missile upgrades and such. The numbers are bonkers, the difference, how many checks there are in Link to the Past versus Metroid. But obviously, Metroid's checks are much more valuable. Where am I going? Okay, yeah. It's So actually, let's, um, since uh, I'm sure there are some people who probably don't know yet, what's, uh, what is a, what does check mean? What's the lingo for uh, ah. randomizers? So uh, a check is just any location that might have an item. So if you defeat a boss and they drop an item, that item is a check. If I open a treasure chest that like is in the overworld, that's a check. Uh, anything that has the potential to be randomized uh, and can contain, you know, anything, um, that just kind of becomes the lingo for, you know, obviously I can't say, oh, the sword's gonna be here because who knows where the sword will be, you know? Yeah. So we just say a check. So like, uh, yeah. And there's a greater variety of them in Link to the Past, I think, than there is like Metroid. It's usually just, here's where you would find an item. And that's always kind of how it works. Whereas it can be like an NPC could give you an item or you could beat a boss or maybe even fairies, I guess, could give could do a check now and then. Uh, yeah, there's there is greater fairies that can give uh, checks. Uh, speaking of fairy, I'm going to try and not die here. There you go. Now, why didn't you get that heart container for me, Dan? I <laughs> know <laughs> uh, that piece of heart really would give you like... Well, peace of mind, if nothing else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think I've gotten two so far, and then that one. There's got to be some stuff you can do, even without a lantern. There's got to be some stuff you can do here in like yeah. Earth Palace or whatever it is. Oh, oh boy! Oh, I I lost uh, control there for a sec. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a like precarious setup we've got kind of working here because we're not able to be playing in the same location. So it took some. Took a little technical work, and hopefully it will hold. <laughs> uh, I'm just so happy it works at all that, like, yeah, as soon as same. we figured out, like, I, we got kind of to together for a brief call just to, like, try to get it testing and working, and when, as soon as we saw the, oh man, this is actually going to work, we were very giddy. Yeah, so happy. Like, <laughs> even, even with, like, a stutter or, like, a, a slight, they're very slight input delay. It's, it's pretty close to actual um on my end but it is I, i'm still just so giddy the fact that we can even do this <laughs> that's so cool now that okay. i've experienced this i want more like i've not even played that many just basic randomizers for a lot of games but i want more combo ones i want more like crossover game randomizers now this is so cool yeah same it's really well made too like i'm just it's cool seeing random Zelda items in Super Metroid, just grabbable. Oh, jeez. Where's the big ball? There. there it is. Actually... Yeah, there's, there's a chest right here, right? I think? There you go, yes. nice. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, you're rich. Yeah, this will be interesting having not played uh, Link to the Past in a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I've, like, again, I played Super Metroid somewhat recently, but I certainly don't have anything memorized, nor do I know any of the fancy 
uh, speedrunner strats for getting at stuff that I normally shouldn't be able to do, which is some of these randomizers, they really think, they really expect you to know that stuff. <laughs> yeah. There, there's, there's a few instances of like, you should know X check and whatnot, just, just to help yourself with some situations. Like, um, when I do Ocarina of Time now, there's mm -hmm. so many little things I know that help me that you would never know or need even in a speed run and stuff, but it's just enough manipulation to be like, oh, okay, uh, you know, I can use my Ocarina if I have the <laughs> bottle. Like, yeah, I know, I know that trick. That's really cool. So now here's the thing I don't know. Uh, how do like dungeon maps, compasses, and big keys work like in dungeons? Like, is could you find a map for a different dungeon in like? Are they so? How does it work? Um, there are there are versions of that. Um, I believe um this one does not have. Oh, uh oh, no. that's not I gotta, good. I gotta leave and then come back in. But they pushed me. And the door might have closed behind you also. The I'm not door sure. might have closed behind me. You're <laughs> That's right. That's bad news. <laughs> well, at least yep. you have 100 rupees, though. That's true. Got 100 rupees. And a big key. <laughs> um, okay. So. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Can't get the item from. <laughs> I think he does have a bombable wall behind him, though. Oh, yeah. right, you are. Glad you remember. And I'm gonna say super missiles. I bet you're right. Ooh, hey, that's nice. Also good. All right, not hey, bad. that was that was that was all for me. Yeah, and those boots mean you can get what what, what was that up there? I guess it was nothing super useful. <laughs> We're uh, up in the library. Oh yeah, uh, what was it? It was missiles, right? I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, that 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 helps with just even just getting around too, though. So yeah, yeah, that's a good one. And yeah, we've really lucked out on your on your side with a uh, getting some basics. Mm hmm. He's going down so fast! It <laughs> doesn't help at all! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a blast. <laughs> I'm glad you're here to, to play the Link to the Past parts, because I did find in uh, trying to brush up on it that I just... I actually don't like playing Link to the Past very much. I love so much about it. It's just playing it itself. I get annoyed easily. So mm -hmm. I'm glad you're doing it. <laughs> I, I do too. I even even when I quickly revisited it just to be like, oh hey, you know, let me let me brush up on my Link to the Past a little bit. I was like, man, this game really just beats you over the head sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it can get mean at you sometimes. But the the appeal of us playing like two separate games at the same time <laughs> is I'm, I'm just giddy. Like, I too. think even if this game uh, is going to frustrate the heck out of me, I'm still <laughs> so happy. And I just like, even if I, I don't enjoy playing it, but man, I love how it looks and sounds so much. Like, mm -hmm. Aesthetically, I, like look at you running around. It's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> uh, I could check these. Uh, wait, isn't it? Is it this? Yeah, there's one. I think it might just it might Spire just be fairies on. down there. Yeah. But even so, that's that saves us from some beeps, if nothing else. Oh, there's another room too. <laughs> I guess some of the text has been changed too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they rewrite stuff just what from the community and being like I think I think they say like let us do something and now it says let us. <laughs> oh, cute. I like that. <laughs> Little, little stuff like that. Hey, I could do this, which ooh, oh. I, I think we can do this without lantern. So this should be three more checks right here. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Yeah, I remember that in the uh, Hollow Knight randomizer that it just, uh, it wasn't a lot of stuff, but every now and then, like going into Dirtmouth for the first time, the text would pop up. Just Elder Bug's a cool dude. <laughs> just, mm -hmm. I like that. 
It's like, you know, he is a cool dude. It's true. Real chill. So yeah, uh, you, you mentioned this earlier. Um, normally, if you have like a key sanity function or stuff like that, it'll randomize keys and compasses and, and maps. The, the maps, compasses, and small keys and big keys are all within the dungeon themselves. Gotcha. But randomized. So okay. like, um, and again, still in logic. So like, if the big key is in, well, the big key can't be in the big key chest because you need the big key to beat the boss. So right, like, right. And the big key won't be on the boss, that kind of stuff. So that's good. It's, I'm glad they've got that sorted out. Hey, missiles. Uh, need some more missiles. And another key, that'll help. And hey, reserve Ooh, tank. Reserve tank. I don't mind that one bit. I'm gonna be a lot more sturdy. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be able to actually take a hit, unlike me. <laughs> That'll be nice. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find you a heart. <laughs> nope. Rats, please. <laughs> Rats, please. <laughs> uh, this may get rough without a lantern. Yeah. Oh, I'm, no, I'm you're fine. slowly shifting. Hey, let's get a um. <laughs> let's get let's get me the upgraded tunic. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's two tunic levels for me that would help with some damage resistance, please. <laughs> that would help with a lot. Sup, Zelda? Yo. How you doing? Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Smooches and bye. Okay, let's tr let's try to get that mountain pass for you and see if we can... That's a good idea. That may, uh, that may mean that there's a few other items I can sort of get to. <sighs> I'm so happy we got a sword. Settle in, everyone. This is actually going to take us a good while. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be a nice, chunky little, little, little playthrough. <laughs> yeah. it's uh, Each of these games on their own could keep us going for a good All right. 10, what do you think, 12 Dan? episodes. Mm. I'm going to say Cane of Samaria. I'm going to say 10 arrows. Hey, you we're were both... You were close there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember if that cane is actually in this game. There's a blue and a red one. I don't remember their names. <laughs> they are in it. I don't know what they do because I didn't find it in my so far in my playthrough. The red one makes blocks and the blue one makes you like invincible for oh. a, a few seconds. Or, or I think as long as you're putting magic into it. That's cool. Um, I can't remember if they have a chest in there. When, when they break that down, which I think is linked to the three medallions being got. Oh yeah, speaking of which. 175. Well, that that's nice. These are these are the three we have to beat. Um the medallions we don't have to beat because technically they only give us access to um what you call it? Master sword? Uh, the master sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The master sword might be a check as well. Ooh, which I should probably go read the pedestal to see. Oh wait, we don't have the book, so we can't even read it. So That's true, you need the book. Because if that's if that's something like good for you, we're in trouble. Because then that means we have to do all the dungeons in Link to the Past. We'll just cross our fingers that <laughs> that it's nothing. Oh, what was on this this cliff? Oh, this is bad. Yeah, that's gonna not be good. We need to get you a we need to get you a lantern. <laughs> There's nothing. Why is there nothing? Isn't there something supposed to be on the... Oh, I think Dark World has a thing on there. Maybe? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. You know better than me. There's definitely lots of uh, little secrets in Zelda I have not found. Oh, I could I could go lower the water in the water temple, and that's two checks. Oh, there you go. Look at Dan using the map because he <laughs> remembers how to play. <laughs> I forget. I forget things. It's all coming back. Oh yeah, let's. Uh, There's some uh, stuff lying around the in there. The mushrooms in there, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mushroom, uh, which is not too far in, even. So what's this? <laughs> that could be something. Um. Ooh, no. This is the. This is where you drop down. Have you seen Andy? <laughs> he's out looking for a prized ether medallion. I wonder when he will be back. Uh, That's funny. Andy is, uh, he actually did, um, a GDQ of, I'm, I'm assuming that's the same Andy they're talking, the, uh, Oh, that's great. The, a GDQ run of this rando with, um, Oats and Goats. I love that. That's awesome. Because he, uh, I believe that's his thing is he can never find that ether medallion. <laughs> oh, uh, that's cute. I love those little in-jokes. I assume. I could be wrong, but being 
Andy is his like Twitch name and he plays <laughs> Link to the Past Rando all the time. I'm going to bet that's what they're talking about. <laughs> I bet you're right. But yeah, that mushroom is definitely lying around. There it is. And it's, <gasps> that's, what is, is that? That's, that's, a, that's a suit, I think. I think that's like, that's either gravity or various suit. I want to say it's gravity. I may be wrong. <laughs> I can't remember I mean, what the icon that's, looks that's like. That's nice. That's, that's nice. a suit for sure, though. I'm excited about that. I'm just going to check and see if I can read. I don't think... I think I have to have the book to read the pedestal. Mm, yeah, worth a check, though. You're close. Yeah. See, look how cute this is. A little mist effect and the color palette and everything. So good. And a bunch of fake swords around for whatever reason. <laughs> the birds. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And he... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not tried. heroic enough. Need more medallions. <laughs> Come back soon. It's weird how, like, directly, you know, like, Sword in the Stone, you know, the Master Sword is referencing. But, like, I never think of, you know, like, that being a Zelda thing. Yeah, it's that's actually true. I never think about it either. <laughs> that's 100% what it is. But yeah. Just like, oh, I don't have the hammer. Um, <laughs> you know when like something comes out nowadays and everyone's like, oh, that's clearly just a Avatar ripoff, you know? <laughs> yeah. We uh, instantly detect the uh, the source material that they're pulling from. Mm -hmm. Whereas, yeah, I guess Kid Us just wasn't thinking about it. And so now it's just fully ingrained. Oh, it's a Zelda thing. It's the Master Sword, obviously. Yeah. It sprang fully formed from Miyamoto's brain. Of course. That's that's just how the Master Sword works, Dan. Yeah. It's the Master Sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is... This is going to take all the time that it would beat... That it would require to beat each of these games independently. And also possibly longer because we may hit times where we're having to wander all around finding <laughs> the dang items we need. Mm-hmm. But maybe it'll go faster, because maybe we'll find the important items real fast. Oh, I can do the shovel-making game. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Grab them. these missiles for you. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Gotta have missiles, Dan. Gotta have missiles. Bonk. What if I just, like, nope. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> Save the frames. <laughs> yeah, you don't really need those missiles, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. And I have bombs now, so I can actually do this. Oh yeah. Excuse me, sir, just renovating your house uh, a little <laughs> bit. It's opening up the space a bit for you. Redecorating. <laughs> <laughs> Go! You can do it. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Hey, plus five arrows for you. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday. Wow. Don't spend it all at once. I want. I played uh, the Faces of Evil recently on stream. Wait, so like the that, that's one of the Philips CDI Zelda games, yeah? Yep. Oh my. How was that? What a what a treat it was. Part of me is like happy I did it just so I could finally say like, hey, I've I've played that, and I have one of Gamelon ready to go as well. Ooh boy! But boy, is it like they they did a, a remastered uh, like fan version? Um, That's cool. And and there there's a lot of quality of life stuff put into it, like you know, no game game overs and. <laughs> or infinite continue kind of thing and um that's nice like and you don't have to be crouch stabbing to open the menu like stuff like that where you say it and you're like why was that even a thing and just, <laughs> yeah, that's the way that's, it is that's what i was thinking when you said that <laughs> it's like wait um, that was a thing <laughs> and you can you know play it on a normal controller a whole bunch of just yeah basic things that should have been in the original game that make it doable but there's a lot of like farming in the game it's weird Okay, just give me an item, please. Don't give me... Normally I'd be Don't angry be and make angry. you pay for... I bet you're just gonna break all my pots and steal my 50 rupees. Okay, I think in the base game, he, he takes money from you for busting open his door. <laughs> okay. But I'm just gonna rob him. Well, <laughs> that's, that'll work. That's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So interesting. So I just it just occurred to me. You just randomly got plus five arrows uh, on the ground, which is usually something that you would only get uh, from the Pond of Happiness, I think it is. Uh, so does that mean that spending money at the Pond of Happiness could randomly give you anything? So yeah, so there is... Um... The, at, at the pond, there are just, um, like, two treasure chests there. Oh. Which would be the, um... Uh... Which are now set to be what would be the shield upgrade and the boomerang upgrade. Oh, nice. Um, and then I think the bomb and arrow capacity upgrades are swapped out from, I think, just what used to be, like, rupees or dead checks. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Hey! More super missiles! More missiles! Man, you're gonna be so good when you can play the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. This is definitely gonna be the uh, the Dan Jones Zelda show for a little while, but uh, uh -huh. eventually, don't worry. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find We're it. We're gonna find stuff, or we'll find our way to. He'll find a lantern and get to another door. Listen, the improvisation is what these randomizers are all about. Yeah. Yeah. So I think lantern or uh, hey, Whoa. look at that! Look at that health Heck for me. Yeah. Wow. Durability a little bit. Um, can I do anything in the desert? <laughs> I can't even get to the desert. Ah, jeez. Can I? Huh. I think I could get to it, right? Yeah, I can. Right? Yeah. I think so. I think Dark World, you can't. Dark World, you have to, like, fly with the chicken. Oh, the right. Duck. The duck. The duck. Clean of the duck. Okay, I think there's like two checks here from caves and a, and a bug on my monitor because <laughs> my room is dark. <laughs> bug, come on. Come on, bug. I'm trying to play a video game. And... All right, right here. Morph ball. Morph ball. Morph ball. Morph ball. Come on. I once had a fish dinner. I still remember it to this day. Cool. Uh, oh, bomb. Okay, there's a bomb spot. That's something. Yes, there come on. Right here. Morph, morph ball. ball. That's a morph oh, ball! Oh, it is! It. Yes! That's a morph <laughs> ball! All right. Thank heck. Let me, let me go check this other one. I think there's a cave up here to the north, and then we'll get you in there. Yeah. <laughs> and for, like, the two checks you can do until you need morph ball bombs. Was that bombs for morph ball? I think that's... I, no, I think that's the morph ball itself. Bombs... Okay. Uh, I can't, like, recall what the icon looks like from memory, but I've seen it recently, so, like, as soon as I see it, I'll be like, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Uh, I, I well, think those look like something that are in, like, a container, like a glass container of a kind, so... I love that animation, just that jazz hands The little shimmy, little shimmy yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Welcome to my desert. <laughs> hey, new cool cats got some uh, sand? <laughs> cool cats. <laughs> I, um, Whoa, so purple. just before this, I was uh, playing Final Fantasy IX, and man. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta chat with you uh -huh. when we're when we're done recording because I am adoring that game. It's just so good. I adore it so it's much. It's really fantastic. I love it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's great. What's the last thing you did? Like, how far are you? I just saved um, Garnet from being executed. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we uh, we just exited the tunnels nearby Lindblom. Nice. Um, and she talked to uh, Ramu about summons, and oh, that's yeah. where I stopped. Man, I um, love that game. Oh yeah, <laughs> the so fortune. Tunnel. I'm like, where am I going? Fortune teller summons. <laughs> uh, man, it's. I'm just. I love all the characters. Steiner was getting on my nerves, but he. I think he's finally paying attention to the situation so I'm, I'm i think i'm gonna be happy with him again yeah I, I do have that kind of arc with some of the characters where it's uh like i don't like them for a while and then i they change and grow and i come around on them mm -hmm. uh we're back and you know what well, i'll tell I, you what folks <laughs> my controller news. powered off because i keep on because <laughs> i've been spectating here we go uh mm -hmm. we're gonna come back next time and uh do some metroid times because now i can actually do some things which is more than the none things i could do before 
that's that's good. <laughs> Do take care, everyone. I'm really happy we got Morph Ball episode one, though. Holy cow. Was, <laughs> this could have been a long stretch, yeah. a long drought. <laughs> Do take care, everyone, and we'll see you next week for more of this combo randomizer. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>